News are warning you, be careful out there. We have live team coverage. Meteorologist Tamara Berg is standing by with a look at the conditions that are coming. But we start with Michelle Bandura. She's live in San Joaquin County where the Corral fire made it to a neighborhood and destroyed a home. Michelle. Well, Ty, yes, this is the aftermath of the Corral fire burning down the home of Chris and Stephen Curtis. And, you know, we've been talking about that wind and the wind really is kicking up here. It's kicking up that ash and also weakening the trees back here, which is why uh, these uh, it's blocked off in this area. And, you know, the wind can also push up those embers, which could cause more problems. And with that heat coming up could just be potentially dangerous fire outbreak. And that is why Cal Fire is crews are still in the area here. Uh, some resources, though, have been moved out, but Cal Fire says they really need to keep firefighters on scene to get to the hotspots quickly so flames don't spread. They're also keeping an eye on those triple-digit temperatures forecasted for this week. The mix of the intense heat and this wind could be troublesome, and they urge people to be careful and not careless. If it's intense heat and people are using their lawn equipment when they're not supposed to, that can start a fire. There's so many things. Throwing a lit cigarette out the window, you should never do that. There's so many ways that a fire can start, especially when it's hot, um, that if people just make better decisions, uh, we can really minimize the number of fires that we have this summer. Well, and Cal Fire says that the Corral Fire, you know, happened early. A major fire with evacuations happening on June 1st is really not typical. And Juliet hopes that this fire kind of just serves as a reminder for, you know, what potentially the summer could hold and just asking people really to be mindful. Now, coming up at 6, we did check in with the family here who lost their home to see how they're doing and how the owners, 75 and 84 years old, will now have to start over after losing their home in this fire. Reporting live from San Joaquin County, Michelle Bandewer, KCRA 3 News. Oh, we're feeling for them. How awful. So has Cal Fire figured out how the fire started? No, Ty, that's still under investigation. You know, they're not saying ex the cause of it. They're not saying if it's human caused or if it was started another way. But that investigation is still underway. I know a lot of people want to know how it did start in the first place on Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Michelle, for the update. We appreciate it.